Let's get a check of our forecast this afternoon. Sarah, we're all kind of uh, getting pumped up for the end of the yeah. week. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely in the coolest part of the day, to, or part of the week, I should say, today. But yes, it's going to get a little bit milder and it will feel more like spring. In fact, the Fenway opener only 14 days away, the Boston Marathon just 20 days away, Mother's Day 47, and Memorial Day. That's the official start of, I feel like, summer uh, 62 uh, days away. Summer really begins at the end of June, but you know what I mean. Today, upper 40s is what we should normally be seeing, but so far only the lower 40s, so cooler than average temperatures. 30s and 40s greet you if you're going to be stepping out for lunch and cooler air to the north, milder to the south, but it's high pressure that's centered right now over the Great Lakes region that will continue to deliver those northerly winds and keep us on the cooler side. Those northerly winds are helping to push this system to the south. So while we have a few clouds over the south coast Cape and Islands, the rest of us enjoying bright sunshine. Winds averaging about 5 to 15 miles per hour, adding a bit of a chill to the air. But temperatures, while they'll be below average, will feel like uh, the 30s in most spots. Again, with that wind that will be consistent through much of the evening. Now, they'll die down overnight. It turns clear and cold. And temperatures back into the 20s once again. Could find a few upper teens as you travel further north and west. But that wind eventually will become even lighter by tomorrow. And hey, it should be really great conditions, although cold, if you're up before dawn could see Jupiter looking south southeast temperatures though when you step out the door in the 20s that sunrise is at 636 light and variable winds through the day which means we could see some local sea breezes so at the coast we'll look for temperatures in the lower 40s with sunshine but if you go inland you may find temperatures in the mid 40s sunset is at 704 tomorrow as well so high pressure that's going to be our main weather player and as it moves right over our area for Wednesday, bright sunshine, again, local sea breezes. But here's the good news. It scoots to the east, so then winds turn out of the south, and that mild air returns. Now, that mild air also ahead of a front that may provide a few clouds and even a sprinkle or two late Thursday into Friday. But there's some indications it may just stay to the north of us, and that will continue to allow for that warm air to filter in. So as we get towards Friday into the 60s and could be nearing 70 degrees by Saturday, if that front stays to the north. That could be our first 70 degree day of the year. Our last 70 degree uh, day was November 2nd, and we typically average that first 70 right around April 8th. Last year, it was February 20th. Now, pretty amazing stats there. So we'll have to watch this front very closely. Now, as that front lifts to the north, you'll notice that warm air with us. But by Sunday, the cold front gets closer, and we could be talking about some late day showers, and that could also allow for the temperatures to drop. So taking a look at those temperatures uh, for the next several days. 40s with sunshine, then into the 60s, close to 70. And once that front comes through late Sunday, we'll be back into the lower 50s.